What is up, YouTube? Hope y'all are having a great day so far. I'm ready for another video. How about y'all? I am. In today's video, we are going to call this the Opposite Club Challenge. This idea was given to me from someone on Reddit and one of my friends kind of combining both ideas into one. I think it's going to be pretty fun. So for today's challenge, whatever club I would normally hit off the tee, I'm going to hit for my approach shot. And whatever club that I would typically hit for my approach shot on that hole will be hitting off the tee. After I hit my approach shot, I will just play the hole out from there. For the par threes, obviously, I would typically be hitting my putter off the tee. I don't want to bend the putter. So we are going to hit lob wedge off of every par three tee box today. And then if we don't hit the green, we're going to be chipping with whatever club we would have hit off the tee. It's time to get out there. Let's do this thing. We're gonna be playing the back nine today here at Nashville Golf. I've got my lob wedge ready. This is a par three. However, we have about 165 yard carry over the water. We're gonna to need to pure this blade. We are over. We are over, I don't care. It's not in the water and it's dry, giving ourselves a chance for par. Little backstory here on number 10. If you've been following along in some of the other challenges and videos I've been posting here on YouTube, you will know I don't think that we've made a par on 10 yet. We are on the fringe, almost hit the green there. We are set up to possibly make our first par on 10. We have cleared the vastness of this water here on number 10. Here is where we lay. I would have normally hit a seven iron off that tee from that number. So we are gonna be chipping with our seven iron. Left it a little short, but gave ourselves a decent look at par here. And unfortunately, the bogey streak on 10 continues. Number 11 here, par four. For my approach shot, I typically hit a wedge in there. So we're gonna be teeing off with the old pitching wedge. As you can tell, that was hit a little thin. That was on purpose, kind of. We did not quite reach the fairway. It did take me a minute to find our ball. It is a little wet out here. We are gonna lift clean and place that. I always hit driver off the tee on 11. So we've got driver for this shot. Probably about 265 yards left to the hole. Bends around to the left. This was not the shot we were looking for. We pulled that. Pretty good, unfortunately. Might have caught path, kicked it left. We need to get this up and down. We'll take that every time from there. Give ourselves a great chance to save that par. Unfortunately, not the start we were hoping for. Bogey, bogey. We would love to start rolling the rock today start making some of those putts. Number 12, par four. Normally for our approach, we're gonna hit a nine iron. So that's what we're hitting off the tee.
Gonna be tough for us to hit the fairway on some of these par fours. Didn't quite reach it. However, we wanted it as far right as possible to give ourselves a look at going for the green in two. The green sits right back in there, so we're gonna be hitting hybrid up and over the corner. I normally would hit hybrid from that tee box, so that's what we're going with here. About 260 left to the hole. We're gonna grip and rip it. Really couldn't have asked for a better leave. 255 is pretty much maxing out the hybrid. And with the cold air wind into us, this is about all we could expect here. Let's get it up and down. Woo. We snuck it in there. Woo. Got it up and down for the first time today. We are moving in the right direction. Couldn't have played 12 much better. I know we didn't quite reach the green. However, today in these conditions, I probably would have actually been hitting seven or eight iron into the green, but we went with the nine because that is typical. However, we made par, moving on to 13. Since we normally don't lay up on this hole, four iron off the tee, driver here, about 350 yards left, long ways home. We're gonna give this a run, get there somewhere up around the green, get it up and out for bird. Not our best shot. That was hit a little low on the face and pulled. Not the ideal leave here. Left ourselves about 65 yards left to the pin. Little tree trouble. Not sure how we're gonna play this quite yet. looking for give ourselves a look for bird had to play that a little low underneath that tree clipped it good we are on the board finally getting those last two up and down on 12 and there for bird very excited heading in the right direction number 14 about 150 yards to the hole lob wedge here thin to win is the game Wasn't quite what we were looking for. That was uh, in between a blade and a top. Still in play. Let's go find it, hit it again. Thankfully got a pretty good bounce off the lip of the water there, kind of skipped up here, settled about 50 yards from the hole. I would have hit a nine iron off the tee box. It was about 150. I would have probably hit a smooth little chippy nine with the weather being what it is. Bit firm, yeah. That was not quite what we were looking for. However, it is a bit more difficult to blade these lob wedges with any sort of accuracy than I anticipated today. With it being cold, I'm a little hesitant to hit that real pure blade. That moves us back to two over par with the Bogue Bogue Par Bird Bogue start on to 15. 15, the par five is reachable for us. I would normally today in these conditions hit driver hybrid. So we're gonna be teeing off with hybrid here. That's the drive we were looking for. By the way, that hybrid was smoked, in case you were wondering. I have about 265 left here. 
want a little butter cut up through that little gap there in the bunkers. That was a money line. However, didn't get a whole lot of height on it. We're walking up here now. I think we're gonna be just a little short. Unfortunately, we are just a bit short, but did leave ourselves a good look to get it up and down for the bird. That is what we like to see from the short game. Up and down for bird, let's go. This is gonna be our most difficult hole of the day. 16, par four. Normally hit driver off the tee, leave ourselves with a wedge. We're gonna to need to hit this thin to get as much distance out of it as possible. Play it out to the right, avoid this water. I know I need to hit that thin, but not gonna lie, that one's stung. We have got a long ways to the house, need to hit a little draw around this tree right there. Gonna need a quality shot here. About 275 left. Little left, not too bad. Might have overcooked that one just a wee bit, but we're okay. Solid contact for the most part. Gives ourselves a little look at an up and down. I have a question for y'all. Answer in the comments below what putter you're currently playing. I'm currently playing the Seymour Z1C center shafted putter and absolutely love it. Like I said, pulled just a bit. However, not a bad number. Let's get this up and down for our par. Boom. And that is why you spend the time on your short game, get them up and down for days. Yes, sir. That keeps us at one over and gives us a chance to shoot under par if we could go bird bird. Let's see. 17 here, par three, lob wedge in hand. With it getting colder, these bladed shots aren't feeling so great. We're gonna try to hit this thin, have about 175 to the hole, see what we can do. That was the top. Did get a little roll out of it though. You know, we're not gonna talk about that shot anymore. It scampered down here, left ourselves with about 65, 70 yards left. Let's see if we can get it up and down. We are gonna be using an eight iron to chip with from that 70 yard spot, since that's what I would have hit off the tee. Let's get it up and down. Not our best effort, left ourselves about 30 feet. <laughs> Would have loved to have made that par putt on 17. However, that's gonna move us to two over on today's round. We'd be hitting hybrid into the green, so we're gonna tee off with hybrid, driver for the second. smoking this hybrid today. Another fairway hit with hybrid today. Leaves ourselves about 330 left to the hole. We are gonna give this a rip. We weren't really looking for a stinger there, but that is what we got. Stingers today are not the ideal shot we are looking for gonna leave us a full wedge in here. Might have only hit that about 210. 
have about 120 left. Gonna hit a smooth little chippy gap wedge. I don't know if I'm getting cold, but that was our worst swing of the day. I do think we're putting a bit right. We've got a long one for bird. Good news is we missed it on the right side. However, that was way right. Like I said, not what we were looking for from that number in the middle of the fairway. Need to roll this in for a bird. Hope y'all enjoyed the opposite club challenge. We finished two over with a par there on 18. Wanted to see if we could give it a run to shoot even or better. However, we didn't quite have our best today, but we got it in the hole, had some ups and downs in the round and had fun. If y'all like this kind of content, please subscribe below and hit that bell, get the notifications turned on and comment what you'd like to see in future posts. Please drop a like, would be greatly appreciated, and we'll see you when we see you.